Hello everybody. Well, we have a new moon in Virgo at five degrees on the 29th of August. And Virgo is all about health, healing, cleaning, discernment, knowing what's good or what is not very good for you. It rules your routines, your daily routines, the things that you do in your life on a regular basis. It rules your work and it rules service to others. The new moon gives you a wonderful opportunity to clean things out in your life. Physically, you might want to go on a physical cleanse or have a colonic irrigation. You might want to clean your house out. You might want to weed your garden. It's a great time for clearing your office, get, getting caught up with all that paperwork. Wonderful time for deciding to go on a new diet. Good question to ask yourself would be, um, how can I keep myself more healthy? What do I need to do to keep a balance in my life? Um, it's a wonderful time for um, cleaning anything at all. So cleaning out your closets, cleaning your house. Um, it's a wonderful time for signing up for a yoga class, any kind of exercise class, starting a new routine um, to support exercising, doing something really healthy for yourself. Um, it's a wonderful time to make lists and tick off things that you've done. It's a great time for decluttering, for getting rid of things that are in your way and knowing the difference between the things that are really serving you and the things that you really just need to let go of. It's a wonderful time for volunteering, for helping out maybe at an old home, maybe at a, a soup kitchen, helping the homeless, whatever it is, turning over a new leaf. This is because if you do that during this new moon in Virgo, it's, it's just going to give you more space in your life to allow more of the things into your life that you really, really want. Um, it's a good time to get some stationery, to do any kind of editing. Um, it's a good time to have a massage. Um, to simplify your life in one way or another. Be careful not to be overcritical. Tendency with Virgo, because Virgo discerns things, you might be just a bit of a pain in the ass if you're not careful to the people around you if you're being overly critical. And don't be over, cr overly critical with yourself either. Be a little bit gentle and take this new moon in Virgo as a wonderful opportunity to clear out, clean out and sort out. So. Where does it fall in your chart? Maybe it's in your second house. So this is your house of finances. So good time to come up with a budget to really sort your finances out. Maybe it comes into your sixth house of work. Good time to look for new work. Maybe look for a new job or to start a new diet or new exercise regime. For me, it falls in my third house of learning. And I've had all these books on complementary medicine and health for a long, long time now. And I've decided that each day I'm going to study a little bit about health and healing because it really fascinates me. And with the new moon in Virgo, I'm going to put a routine into place. And you might want to check out my article on my website. It'll give me a few more details of the good things that you can do, the good questions you can ask yourself during this new moon in Virgo. Have a very happy cleaning time. Bye for now.